We have learned how to find logarithmic values of numbers which can be written in the exponential form. For example, log of 100 is equal to 2. If we talk about the base 10, because 100 can be written as 10 power 2. Similarly, log of 1000 base 10 can be equal to 3 because 1000 can be written as 10 power 3. But there are hundreds of number between 100 and 1000 which cannot be written apparently in the exponential form. What about their log? We either use calculator or we use logarithmic tables to find out values of logarithms of those numbers. Let's assume that we are talking about log of 225. So log of 225, because 225 is a number between 100 and 1000, therefore its value must be between 2 and 3. So obviously that value is a fraction or a decimal greater than 2 and less than 3. By using calculator, if log of 225 is equal to 2.3528, then this integer 2 before decimal is called characteristic. So what is characteristic? Characteristic that is the portion, the integer portion of the value of logarithm. So this is integer, integer portion of, of the value of logarithms of logarithm so and the fractional part that is called mantissa so now here in this question what is mantissa mantissa is 0 0.3528 and what is the characteristic that is 2 so this fractional portion fractional portion of value of log of value of logarithm of a number of logarithm logarithm of number is called is called mantissa so here we have 3, 5, 2, 8, that is the mantissa and 2 is the characteristic. Therefore, if we can find out using table, if we can find out what is the characteristic and what is the mantissa, we can obviously find out the value of the logarithm of a given number. Let us find out uh, log of example we have here is find log of 224.35 let's find out the logarithm of this so one way obviously we can use is the calculator but we are going to use a logarithmic table and for that purpose we first will need to know where is the reference position so for solution for finding log for finding log we will first find out the uh, reference position reference position is between the first non zero digit and the digit next to it so what is the first non zero digit starting from left so the first non-zero digit is 2. 
So for finding a reference position, reference position, so what are we going to do? We will find reference position. We find reference position and reference position. So where is the reference position then? That is between the first non-zero digit that is 2 and this is a symbol for reference position and then the next digit is 4 between 2 and 4 this is the reference position and then we continue onward point 3 5 now the we know where the reference position is and we also know that where the decimal is the number of digits between the decimal and the reference position will be the characteristic of this number so here there is only one digit but because the decimal is to the right so the characteristic will be positive remember so this must be remember remember if if decimal if decimal is to the right to the right of reference position reference position then position then then characteristic is positive then characteristic is positive so here we have plus one as a characteristic because the decimal is to the right of the reference position if decimal was to the left of the position then we will write characteristic as minus but we will not place minus sign before we will rather place the negative sign above the number one so here we have characteristic equal to characteristic is equal to plus one and now we are going to find out mantissa and for finding mantissa we will need the uh, table for logarithm and here is the table for logarithm our number is 24.35 so disregard where the decimal is just keep first two digits in mind and then look those digits in the table so here is we find this 24 and we are going to take a look on the row with 24 under the column heading 3 so where is the column heading 3 the column heading 3 is this so the rule is this we first take the first two numbers the first two digits the first two digits of the number we locate them in the first column and then we also uh, locate the third digit and we look at the intersection of that row and the column which is this number 38 56 so this one plus and here we are going to say point three eight five six three eight five six and then still there is one or more number for five we are going to find out the difference and for this difference these are the difference numbers and we will locate where the five is the 5 is right here and under the same row 24 we are going to find out under the column heading 5 what is the number there that is plus 9 and we are going to add that number here so this will give us equal to 
1 plus 5 and 6 would be 11 and 6 and 8 and 3. So this is equal to 1.3861. That will be the value of the logarithm. Similarly, you can find out, try finding values of the logarithm for, for practice. Find values of the following of the following and here we have question number one log of 5495 log of 5495 number one and number two log of 0 0.0032 9. So, there's uh, find out using table logarithmic table and then verify your answer by calculating logs with the help of calculator.